Hi, my name is Phil Ruby. I'm the Madge Tech Specialist for Advanced Technical Services. Just going to give you a short uh, video on how to create a graph uh, from the data that you've already recorded. Uh, we've got Madge Tech open and we've got four data sets that we've recorded from one sterilization cycle, uh, three temperatures and one pressure. Now, um, if we click on under the file menu here, we'll click on data sets and we've got these four data sets that we can select from. If we'd got more data in our internal database, we'd obviously have more data sets available. So we need to only select the ones that are applicable to us. So in this instance, it's all of them. So we can select the first one, hold the shift key down and select the final one and all of them will be selected. If we only wanted to select some of them, we can hold the control key down and select individually or deselect the ones that we want. In this case I want all four. They are now all highlighted yellow. We'll right click and select open. I've got it set so that it prompts me to create to put report title every time I open a report. And this is a setting I'll show you later on. So we'll just call a sample graph and select OK and it's going to bring it in. I've got some defaults set up that when it brings the temperature channel in the colour is red and when we bring a pressure channel in the colour is green. So if we were to go file print preview uh, we'll see what this looks like before we um, do any changes. You'll notice on the right hand side the legend is obscured over the axes, or the axes is obscured by the legend. So we need to shift both of the axes for the pressure and temperature to be on the left hand side. So we'll close the print preview and up here we'll see manage axes positions. Quite simple, select pressure and move to the left and close. If we now go back and have a look at the print preview you'll see that um, that's not obscuring any of the data. Uh, if we select the orientation here we can change that to landscape which is how I personally prefer to have it and the title of the graph is what we entered when we first um, created the graph. I've got all of my loggers have an internal ID that I've called and I've labelled each one and this is where this temp front, temp back pressure and temp middle is coming from. And so uh, that's made it easier for us to bring the data in. In the older versions of software um, we didn't have a legend available and there was a bit of work involved in creating all of this. Um, so we haven't had to change anything. Only thing that I am going to change is the colour. So let's select the channel. This is the front. So we'll make the front blue. So all we've got to do is go up the line colour and select blue. We'll now select the next one which is back and we'll make that black. I think that's it. Oh, let's see if we can find a black. Oh, there's more of a bluey colour. But that'll do. And we'll select the um, red will do for that. Oh sorry we're back on the same channel. Uh, we'll make that blue. And the pressure's green, so that's fine. And we've really created all the information on here that I would ordinarily do for presentation for a client. Um, the client name I would use the sample where I've put the title. Um, we've got each axis or is or each data set has its own colour, so it's easy to have a look to see what's happening on the on the graph. So let's close the window and. Um, we'll save that report there. The little asterisk here tells us that we haven't saved the report we're working on. So everything we're doing here is not affecting the data, it's just a report that we've created and we can create multiple reports um, from the same data set. Well, obviously we can't alter the data, um, that's locked inside the software, but we can have multiple data sets. Um, so if we go save that's going to save it and the little asterisk disappears. Um, now, if we go File, Options, 
there was a few things that was happening automatically uh, when I created it. So we'll select display, I've set this to millimeters, time format, we'll leave as a system setting, group channels by ID. Now this is what we're talking about on the right hand side here we've got these channels and each data logger I have given an ID and because they have a unique ID they appear separately and that um, gives me my title and the key. Um, when we import the data from a data logger we're automatically going to create a graph and the next one will go to file graph this is where it's prompting me for the title um, we can change it to have none which would be untitled graph or prompt or automatic if we select automatic we can use the serial number and the device ID to create the title for the graph that it's going to create um, in this instance I'm just going to go prompt because just makes it a bit easier for me to work with the units so this is where I selected the colors so they came in automatically so we're using an absolute pressure sensor so if we click on the color we can select from the um, color tablet any color that we want and I've got green and uh, the other one that we use is temperature and if we scroll down here you will see temperature and we can change if I want it in Fahrenheit Kelvin but in this case I want it in degrees C and I've selected the color red um, which is how I like it so we push out um, some of these other settings I haven't fiddled with yet and we'll cover those in subsequent um, videos so we'll select OK to save that and that concludes my video on how to prepare a graph thank you for listening